Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Kamira. I share product reviews of things I'm trying and learning tech. With an ever-changing landscape of the workforce, I wanted to help others and share a few tips and strategies that may help you better navigate your journey into tech as a Gen Xer. As a Gen X kid myself, I was looking for a career change earlier this year and I explored tech boot camps and gained some knowledge along the way. Using my work experience and existing skill set and connections, I was able to finally land a job as a consultant and analyst for a global media company. The journey was not quick and it was not easy, but it was totally worth it. So here, I'm going to share with you today 10 strategies to help you break into a new tech career as a Gen Xer or as just an experienced professional. It may help. First, use your transferable soft skills. As a mid-career professional, it's a challenge to switch industries. So successfully transitioning into tech industry or any other job requires learning a new set of skills, but also leveraging your transferable skills. So skills like interpersonal communication, organization, reliability, your integrity, critical thinking, analytical thinking, uh, flexibility, written communication skills, your work ethic. These are all soft skills any company will find valuable in any industry. So emphasize your transferable soft skills. Second, explore more remote work opportunities and take advantage of that work-life balance. Explore remote job opportunities in the tech sector and discuss skills and tools needed to thrive in that type of environment. Will you need just something as simple as a laptop or do you need like a second monitor or um, special ergonomic equipment and chairs for your home office? Remember, there are companies that are 100% remote out there. So I, if I were you know, in the job scene again, explore looking at those type of companies first. A few websites that might find helpful, aside from LinkedIn or Career Builder or Indeed, you may want to try websites like remote.co, built-in, dice.com, or we work remotely. These are just a few websites that you may want to explore. We love that work from home pajama life. <laughs> so number three, embrace diversity in tech. So as a Gen X professional, we can contribute to and benefit from a diverse workforce. Addressing the importance of diversity and inclusion in the technology industry and offering insights on professionals can navigate uh, the workforce is definitely key. Personally, I'm a fan of Cyrus from the YouTube channel Tech is the New Black for insightful in interviews and diverse individuals breaking into tech. It's a great channel you may want to check out. It's called Tech is the New Black. He interviews a variety of professionals from various backgrounds and their experience transitioning into the tech space. So I'll leave a link below for that if you want to check that out. Number four, add to your skill set for in-demand tech skills. So like I said earlier, identify in-demand tech roles and Get input onto how to gain a new set of skills or knowledge to meet the requirements for these positions. So you're going to have to find out what are the in-demand skills that you know tech companies are looking for. What's popular right now is tech sales, cybersecurity, web development, and AI, just to name a few. And speaking of which, when I explored this myself, I completed the tech boot camp for information technology in course careers. If you're wondering, well, what's course careers? Course careers offers an online self-paced series of courses at an affordable price to help you break into the tech space. From tech sales to information technology, customer success, UX, UI design, and more, this boot camp will set you on a path to gain a new set of skills to better prepare you in your next chapter, all without spending thousands of dollars to go back to school and you know from the comfort of your own home. Anyone can do this as long as you have a computer 
You don't need uh, like an additional degree or anything like that. So you can learn more about that by clicking on the card above to check out my own personal review and experience, or you can use the links in the description box below. I'll leave those down below if you want to check that out. Next, number five, learn to navigate age bias. This may be a challenge, you know, but we come with experience that these young graduates don't have, okay? <laughs> Strategies for navigating potential age bias in the tech industry and job market include tips for presenting your work experience as an asset. So don't lose your energy and spark during these interview processes. Remain positive, upbeat, and energetic. And, you know, you want to look for companies that value diversity across the board from everything, including age, gender, and culturally. You want to accentuate your unique abilities that these younger, inexperienced um, young professionals entering the job market actually lack. As a Gen Xer or a person with experienced work history, you can, you know, things like picking up on, on training quickly, picking up on things that are teaching you quickly. Um, your professional etiquette is already established. Chances are you probably worked in an environment where you already know about professional etiquette, behavior, conversation and language, professional attire. That stuff has already been established and ingrained in you. Also things, common sense expectations that we as Gen Xers already know, things like show up on time. When you say you're going to deliver on something, do it. If you have questions or concerns, you just don't let it go by the wayside. You're going to speak up, use your voice and express that. Things in terms of communication and emails, making sure your you know e email inbox is managed correctly and checking your emails, making sure nothing falls through the cracks. These are common sense type of things. Not all these young professionals are experienced or even know. So make sure you accentuate that. Number six, you want to get comfortable networking in the digital age. So try networking strategies both offline and online. You want to expand your professional connections and opportunities. You know, obviously make connections on LinkedIn or also try, you have to think outside the box and, you know, try every avenue. So with tech, try attending tech job or career fairs as well. They have different events. Look in your area to see if there's anything going on in your town or in your next major big city close to your town. Also, keep in mind, there are virtual online events as well. So... Um, don't feel limited to your town if you live in a small town, but there are online job fairs as well. Just want to point that out. Remember also keep your old connections. Keep a good rapport and relationship with your old connections, your old employers. I actually landed my current position this way. Um, I will leave a card above so you can learn more and learn about my story and how that happened. Seven brush up on your tech job interview prep. So look up current trends and tips and best practices for preparing for tech job interviews. Um, entering the world of tech is slightly different when it comes to interviewing because there's gonna be a sometimes a separate set of questions that are more technical in nature than your standard interview for any other industry. So you wanna explore common technical interview questions maybe behavioral assessments and virtual interview etiquette. Many job interviews are now virtual. So learning the do's and don'ts of virtual interviews is key. You probably want to look that up on YouTube or Google that. It also may have been a long time since you have interviewed <laughs> as a Gen Xer. So you wanna brush up on your interview skills. Um, and don't forget to update your resume as well. Uh, number eight, I believe. Explore freelancing and other opportunities. Exploring freelance and gig economy opportunities in the tech sector. Um, this may include project-based work on platforms like Upwork and establishing like a freelance career. And, you know, some other options that don't require you to be at a desk also include 
things like driving Lyft, Uber, you have a real estate, you can rent out um, Airbnb, you can rent out space, Turo, I believe that's renting out like a vehicle, and also content creation. These are just some ways to explore like making income through the tech space. And also nine, ensure work-life balance. You know, when you're looking for a job in tech and discussing your non-negotiables, be sure to implement strategies for achieving work-life balance. You wanna ask questions like, is your schedule fixed or is it flexible? Can you work remotely? Do you have that option? Figure out what works best for your life um, and your family. So, and also at this stage in life, we as Gen Xers, we've already figured out like, these jobs ain't loyal, okay? So <laughs> put your health and your family first to create the balance that works best for you. And number 10, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship in tech, you know, as Gen X professionals, those that are extra courageous and bold enough to go further, you can start your own tech business. I've heard of this. I've heard of people starting tech businesses and they're, they're not even the most technical, but guess what? They hire those that have the expertise so if you're bold enough and brave enough to go ahead and try that, you can connect with those that have the tech expertise and skills and the ability to help make your vision become a reality. Maybe creating a new business is not easy, but it'll be totally worth it to have the freedom that you desire to get off the corporate plantation. So with that said, let me know, did any of these strategies resonate with you? Have you broken into tech or a new career path using any of these tips I mentioned? Are you currently looking? Leave a comment below. If you found this content helpful, give it a like and share with a friend and you can learn more about my personal journey with course careers and landing a job in the card above. Also, be sure to check out the resources in the description box below to help you out. I wish you good luck in your job search. And until we met again, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.